Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review and swatches of one of the Tarte holiday kits. The one from Sephora last year, actually a lot of people were not happy with that one. Um, it was so many things going on that were just so wrong with that palette. Um, I did not pick that one up because there were just so many bad reviews. Um, I did pick up the one from Ulta. And I still have it. This is the one from last year that I got from Ulta. You lift this up and you had your shades right there. So this is the one from last year. Uh, not a very Christmassy theme, but um, it was decent. It was okay. I don't know if I would have paid full price for this. Um, but, you know, the shadows work. They're not the best thing ever. So these were your shades that I got from last year. As you can see, I definitely played in that one a lot. Um, it performed okay. It was not definitely not the best palette I've ever had, but out of the two, uh, this was getting a lot of better reviews than the other one that came from Sephora. This year, I thought with all of the negative reviews that they had on the ones from Sephora, maybe they would step up their game a little bit. So I went ahead and purchased the Tarte palette from Sephora this year. Um, in this kit, you get... 24 eyeshadows, uh, Deluxe Lights Camera Lashes, Mascara, a full-size Sex Kitten Eyeliner, um, a Deluxe Tardius Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint, two Amazonian Clay Blushes, Amazonian Clay Highlighter, and two Bronzers. Okay, <clears throat> so I think the packaging on this is gorgeous. They really did a nice job when it comes to the design. The bulkiness, however, is horrendous, okay? It's going to take a lot for me to store this in my collection. I don't have a lot of space as it is, and I definitely don't want something that is this bulky. Oh my gosh. So, A plus on the design, F on the packaging, okay? So, anyways, oh, I have it upside down, but you open it up. Um, you do get your shadows. These are your two blushes that you get, um, your highlight, your bronzers. You open this up, you do get a mirror, um, your eyeliner, your lip paint, and your mascara. Okay, first of all, another flaw with this packaging. This mirror makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. How are you going to use this mirror unless you hold like this, okay? That's... That's not, that makes no sense to me. You close this, okay? You still have to hold it like this to use your mirror. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Tart? Did you think about the mirror when you put it in here? Oh, let's put a mirror in just to put it in? Come on now, you're one of my favorite brands. You could be a little bit smarter than that. That is not practical. This mirror is not practical. <sighs> tart, tart, tart. All right, so um, I love the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is one of my top two mascaras. Um, the lip paint is beautiful, okay? I tried this on and the color is just gorgeous. Look at this. got a nice nude color in here and I really just enjoy that so that was a plus the sex kitten eyeliner um, I thought this was going to be a liquid eyeliner but it's not um, and I am more a fan of a liquid eyeliner so this was not for me <laughs> um, and it does come with a smudge tip um, so you can smudge that out if this was to be your type of thing, but it is not mine. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. We do have 24 to do. So basically, um, let me make sure I have it right side up. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So this is how your palette looks. I'm basically just going to go row by row as fast as I can for you guys so we can hurry up and get through so I can let you know how I feel um, about these eyeshadows.
All right, guys. So <laughs> they swatch really nicely. Okay. You can see very nicely. <sighs> However, I tried so many different looks. I went through maybe six different looks trying to use all different colors and they were terrible on my eyes. <sighs> I don't even know how to explain it other than the fact that they muddied up. They did not blend well. Um, I was using this one right here as a transition color and anytime I mixed it with a different color it would just get really muddy um, I tried using this right here this one I wanted to use for my um, outer V it looks kind of be more of a bluish a dark bluish color um, but it didn't end up being that it ended up being more it ended up being more black than what I thought it would be um, so that was a disappointment I will say I'm not a big fan of the selection um, I, as I thought I would be. Um, I will say this color right here, this greenish color is beautiful on the eyes. I mean, it is gorgeous, okay? But I couldn't get anything else to work to be able to use that color, nothing. Everything else was so muddy and it looked terrible. And then I thought, maybe I should just bring in another palette, but why am I going to keep this for one color? I can't do that, that's insane. So, <laughs> none of them worked for me. None of them, it's Tart, I don't know what you did. I don't know what happened. This is not the Tarte that I know and I love. I have the Tartlet in Bloom on my face today, or on my eyes today, because I could not get this to work. I so desperately wanted to try and create a look with this palette in order to do this review, and I just could not make a single freaking color work. I hate it. I cannot believe I say that because I, Tarte is very dear to my heart. Tartlet in Bloom was one of my favorite palettes. It's one of my first palettes. I love their lipsticks, their Rainforest of the Sea, their brushes, they are everything in my world. And this I cannot like, I do not like, I will not like, I will return this. I, it's terrible, it's terrible, okay? The highlighter, let's get into the highlighter. This highlighter made my skin look awful can you see it right there I don't even know if you can see it on camera but it texturized my skin so bad it looks like I had just lines and bumps everywhere and my face is actually not as bad as it made it look so I did not like that highlighter and once again Tarte is one of my favorite brands because I have the uh, highlighter in exposed and this is beautiful this is beautiful. This is the kind of quality that I know and I love from Tarte. This highlighter is an imposter. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just terrible. Um, I didn't even get to the blushes and the bronzers just because I was so disappointed and everything else. I didn't want to work with it any further. I just wanted to put it down and take it back. Um, but I will go ahead and swatch these two for you. Um, so let's do I have any room left? Oh, okay. I like the colors of the blushes because, like I said, I didn't get around to using them because I was just so disappointed by everything else. Um, as far as the bronzers go, let's just go ahead and swatch those. Uh, <laughs> I'm running out of room. <sighs> okay. So. Ugh. <laughs> look at this can you see that this one is really chunky and this one is extremely patchy so um, I also don't know that I would be able to use either one of those colors <sighs> so maybe this one that one might be a good bronzer um, that would have to be an eyeshadow but <sighs> like I said this 
palette is a complete disappointment. So I think this palette is a complete waste of money. I say do not even bother trying to test it out. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Um, this is going back as soon as I get a chance. They had a, a chance to step up and fix, fix the one from last year, and I don't think they did that. I really don't. Um, you saw yourself. They swatch beautifully. They are terrible on the eyes. I can't say it enough. Um, you know, just, I want to cry. <laughs> I really want to cry because I hate doing reviews of stuff that I don't like, especially if it's by a brand that I really enjoy and then just kind of like sadden my heart. So, I just, I don't know. <laughs> um, I do have another holiday palette kind of similar to the one that I got last year. I really, really, really hope that that is just better than this one because See, I'm at a loss for words because I'm just, I don't know what to say. I, I have such great expectations for something of Tarte. And I know it's a holiday palette and I know sometimes they kind of push out all this product for everybody. But, I mean, you should still have some kind of decent quality to where, you know, people want to buy this. And this is not it. Um, I mean, I do appreciate, I do appreciate how they did the rose. You know, you have your base color, your transition color, your crease color, and your lid color in each row. Each row is definitely a different look. And if the shadows would have worked, this could have been a really good palette, minus the packaging, because I still can't stand the packaging, whether it would have been a good palette or not. Um, like I said, that mirror placement is just so ridiculous. Um, but uh, tart get it together <laughs> please I don't want to do another review of something I don't like from you guys but anyways I hope that kind of informs you about this holiday kit um, unfortunately this is a do not buy this kind of video do not do not, do not, do not, do not. <laughs> um, but if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click on that little bell notification. That way you can be notified of any videos that I have in the future. And I hope you guys have a great night. Bye.